Hi guys, we're gonna make this one week dry aged T-bone steak. One is about two pounds and the other one is about pound and a half. We have the grill at just about 420 I wanna say. Nice and hot. We already have some potatoes on there. Uh, butter, butter, garlic potatoes. Yum. So you want to make sure your grill is nice and hot and it's been on for about a couple of minutes before you throw these steaks on there. So, here we go. Ooh, that sizzle. This is my second attempt at dry aging a steak. Now, just don't touch it and let it do its work and we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay guys, we're back. Now to cook a perfect steak, the way I do it is I make sure the grill is nice and hot. Right now the grill is at about 350-400. So I, for a perfect medium to just a little bit under medium rare, the first side should be cooked for about seven minutes on high. And then we'll, here we are, we're gonna flip the first time. We get this perfect char on both sides. Yeah. So the first side should be for about seven minutes and the second side should be for six minutes. And then if you want it a little bit more done, you just go ahead and when you flip it the last time, you put it on for an additional one or two minutes and that should give you a perfect medium steak but I don't recommend it that way because all the juices will come out so uh, to each his own now let me go ahead and close this up again for six minutes now the way I uh, the way I uh, you could tell if you have a perfect steak so you have your hands so if you do this and you touch this part of your muscle right here this would be a, uh, a well done steak uh, this will be I'm sorry I apologize this one should be well done this is a little bit under well done uh, this right here is medium and this right here is medium rare so the trick is this is well done uh, this is a little bit over medium this is medium and this is a little bit under medium that's the trick we'll come back and let this they keep cooking okay so these steaks are just about done now one thing that I like to do is as soon as it comes out of the grill I like to put some sticks of uh, butter unsalted and the side that was on the grill I put it right on the butter because what it does is it will soak up all that butterness now my friend likes a little bit cooked so I'm gonna cook it for a couple more minutes on one side and that should be it so Remember, it's seven minutes on the first side on a super hot grill, and it's six minutes on the second side. And then if you want it a little bit more cooked, you have it on for another minute, and do not close the grill. At the last minute that you're cooking for a little bit well done, don't close the grill. Just leave it open, cook it on high heat for another minute, and it should be done. Perfect steak, very succulent, very juicy. Uh, this is my first attempt, and uh, I'm hoping this tastes good. And also remember, do not cut into the steak. Wait at least 10, if you can, to 15 minutes. Because if you cut into it right away, all that juice is going to come pouring out. Thanks for watching, guys. You have a good day and enjoy your steak.